Since early 2020, Snapchat has had what is called public profiles, a way to build an audience and grow on Snapchat. Public profiles is an extremely helpful tool. But even after just one year of being out, a lot has changed. Hey guys, what is up? It's Reese Tafso, the Snapchat Encyclopedia. And in today's video, we're going to discuss the history of Snapchat public profiles and how you can make one. This was the leading video idea on a poll I had a few months ago. If you'd like to vote, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. To start off, let's understand why Snapchat made public profiles. Snapchat is a social media network that has a lot of users and also many creators. To separate the two apart from each other, most content creators had what was called a subscribe button or a verification emoji. But Snapchat wasn't satisfied with just this. This was too simple and didn't give enough exposure to the content creators on their platform. So Snapchat decided to make public profiles. Now public profiles weren't for everybody at first, nor were they for most creators. In fact, Snapchat created public profiles specifically for the people with a verification emoji to signal that they were verified. The public profiles that these people got had a gold star, their username and display name, their category in which they created content, bio, website, highlights, and any lenses that they were created. They were able to post their public story that would be posted to their subscribers. That was what was visible to the public. The account owner themselves got to have a story, insights, lens insights, along with being able to assign roles. Now when Snapchat launched public profiles, they were a huge success and many creators saw how useful they were. This caused a problem though throughout the Snapchat community. Big time creators on Snapchat that weren't verified didn't have a public profile and this stunned their growth in the community. Luckily for creators, Snapchat decided that in late 2020 they would create two tiers of public profiles. Tier 2 being a verified account and tier 1 being a creator profile. Now what came with a creator profile? With a creator profile, you had everything a verified account had except for the gold star. Now this fixed the problem of big time Snapchat creators on Snapchat being able to grow. But what about new content creators that were just starting out and wanted to grow? Snapchat already had a plan for this luckily and was working on what was called Spotlight. Using Spotlight, these creators could post content and gain ads from Spotlight where their videos would blow up. But new content creators for Spotlight wanted to have a public profile to display themselves better when they were seen on Spotlight. This is when Snapchat created a third and final tier for public profiles. Tier 1 being a public profile when you have your display name and username showing, along with a picture, profile, and bio, highlights, and any lens made, tier 2 which was a creator account, and tier 3 which was a verified account. Now for some of you wondering how to create a public profile, creating a public profile, you can do this by clicking on the three dots on Spotlight and then creating your public profile. Although you do have to be above 18 to create your public profile, unless you have a big following on other social media platforms, in which case you can contact Snapchat. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.